In this problem, we're being asked to graph a piecewise defined function. And really, a piecewise defined function is like several functions all wrapped up into one, just sharing different portions of the graph. So I'm going to take this one piece at a time. This first line, what it says is the function value, or y value, is 6 if the x value is less than negative 4. So I'm going to go to negative 4 here, 2, 4, and I'm going to go up to 6, 2, 4, 6, and I'm going to put an empty dot here. It's empty because this is just less than. It's not less than or equal to. And then all the values less than this are at 6. So I can put a line at 6. OK, so that is this chunk. f of s is x is 6 if x is less than negative 4. Let's move on to the next chunk. This is a little more complicated. And it's between negative 4. Actually, it includes negative 4 and 4. So I'm just going to make a note for myself. I'm going to make a little hash mark at, at negative 4 and at 4, because that's how far this function is going to stretch. And then we have a quadratic to plot in here, a parabola. I'm going to want to find the vertex here, and that's not too hard. Uh, x squared and a minus 10 means that um, the center here is going to be at 0, and then the vertex is going to pass through minus 10 on the y. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So there's my vertex. If I plug in, a, let's say, a 1 for x, 1 squared would, would be 1, minus 10 would be negative 9. So 1, negative 9 is on this graph. And if I plug in a negative 1, I'd get the same thing. So you can see how this is going to go. I do want to check where. Uh, it's where it's at with 4 and negative 4. So what happens if I put in 4 here? 4 squared is 16, uh, plus or minus 10 would be 6. So at 4 and negative 4, it's going to be up at 6. Oh, well, that's interesting. So it's right here. So that dot actually gets filled in, and it's here. And we can just sketch in that parabola now. And this parabola doesn't continue on and up because it only goes as high as, as 6 because that's where it is at negative 4 and 4. All right, we've got the first two pieces down. The second piece is 2x minus 2. And that's the equation for a line. And this is when x is greater than or equal to 4. So starting here, it's going to go up at a slope of 2 and then be minus 2. So let's see what happens here if we put in the value of 4. So 2 times 4 is 8, minus 2 is 6. Ah, so that's right here. And let's just do one more point, because that's enough to make a line. So let's put in the value 5. 5 times 2 is 10, minus 2 is 8. So at 5, it's already up at 8. And we can extend that line on from there. All right, so this is our piecewise function. It's a little ugly looking, uh, but uh, there it is. And uh, the last piece of this problem says determine whether or not the function is continuous. And what they mean by continuous here is, does the function have any gaps? If it does, it's not continuous. Could you place your pencil down and trace the whole thing without having to lift up the pencil? Uh, along its whole length. And you can here. So this is a continuous function, no gaps or leaps um, to, uh, to, to have to lift up your, your pencil for. So that is how to graph a piecewise defined function.